Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm the Director of Chassisim Technologies. And today, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be discussing is to give you guys a little bit of a teaser for the Chassisim um, boot camps. Now, we did this about five years ago, but the audio quality was, well, pretty ordinary to be quite honest, so I figured it was probably time uh, for us to redo it. So, without further ado, here we go. First things first, why bother doing the boot camp in the first place? The reason why you should do the boot camp is that it gives you the basis to get correlation like the following. So here we've got actual as colored, simulated as black. So we've got speed, throttle, front dampers, rear dampers, steered angle, lateral G, longitudinal G, front and rear roll. Ladies and gentlemen, when you do the chassis sim boot camp, you're going to be given the ability to be able to do, uh, to achieve um, a correlation like this. But more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, it's correlation like that that leads to results on track. So if you're interested in getting results, um, keep paying attention. First things first, one of the things that we cover in the boot camp is your fundamentals. Everything that you need to do before you even think about switching a simulator on. So part of that is that you're going to be introduced to how to measure up suspension geometry. And this is an example that um, we talk about, and in particular an approach we talk about, about how you go about um, measuring up a car. The other thing that we talk about is the fundamentals of how to calculate downforce. During my now nearly 20 year career in this business, it still blows me away when you walk and down, if you walk up and down pit lane, the amount of race and performance engineers who simply can't do this to save themselves. Well, during the boot camp, we're going to show you how, and all it really is, is a simple force balance. And we're going to walk you through a direct example of it, and we're actually going to get you to do it. So that's a really important aspect of the boot camp. The other thing that we're going to talk about in the boot camp is to show you how to use a simulator to troubleshoot if the sensors don't work as advertised. And that's actually a really, really important skill to have because one of the great things about when you compare simulated data to actual data, if there's anything wrong with the car or if there's anything wrong with the instrumentation, it'll, uh, it'll show up like a sore thumb. And it's a really important aspect of what we cover in the boot camp. The other thing that we'll talk about at length in the bootcamp, particularly when we talk about the um, uh, the F3 example, is walking you through what a monster file looks like. Because with chassis sim, um, to quote my US dealer, um, uh, uh, to quote my US dealer who's a Buddhist, I can tell you right now, your simulator, uh, your a good monster file chassis sim wires is next to godliness. And what we're going to be talking to, and when we talk about this, we'll talk about the important things of what to look for in the monster file, what its structure is, and more importantly, what you uh, and more importantly, some tips and tricks so you don't go down any rabbit holes. The other thing that we're going to be talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is how to use the Chassim Tire Model Quick Start, and in particular, over the last couple of years, this has taken on a really uh, great significance because if you can combine that with the um, tire modeling from nothing um, video that I did would have been about two or three years ago. This is something that becomes really, really powerful. And we're, going to, and we're going to show you how to employ that, both for that technique, but also as a springboard onto more advanced tire force modeling. Then when we talk about um, Chassis Sim's more advanced features, we'll talk about things like the shaker rig, we'll talk about things like aero modeling. But the other thing that we're going to introduce you to is Chassis Sim scripting, vis-a-vis -vis how you can call Chassis Sim from an external program. And in particular, we're going to give you an example of how to do it in Excel. Some tips and tricks of what to look for and to make sure that um, you don't uh, go down the garden path. Because really, when you take a look at stuff, stuff like this, this is the chassis sim uh, this is what's called the chassis sim application programming interface which in and of itself isn't actually that daunting but there are a few traps for young players and we're going to be talking to you at length about that so that ladies and gentlemen is a taster of what's coming with the boot camp the re uh, uh, the registrations are open but really the great thing of why you should be looking at the boot camp is once you're done with the boot camp Stuff like uh, 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 being able to achieve correlation like that is going to per, uh, is going to um, pop out in the wash, and that forms the basis of results on track. So, 
Um, we look forward to seeing you at the boot camp and all the registration details should be in the seminar section of um, the website and we look forward to seeing you there.